All right, y'all, what's going on? I told you this video was coming. Oh, my mask is a little off. All right, I told y'all this video was coming. This is actually a video for me that I really, really uh, am excited to make. Um, reason being is because I think with this cosplay in particular, it's a, uh, I'm not even looking at the camera, I'm just looking at it. Anyways, uh, this, with this cosplay in particular, I've just gone, you know, I've upgraded a lot to say. I've put a lot of work into this and I started from scratch and I've gone to this. And even with this, I'm gonna keep on trying to upgrade here and there, you know, nothing too crazy, just kind of get it to where I want. And right now it's actually at a, at a good base that I want it to be at. And um, I'm actually going to be uh, kind of doing more uh, different versions of this as well. Um, so stay tuned for that and we'll kind of, I'll kind of go over that in a bit. Um, but as you can see, we got the, uh, let's see if I can, whoop, no, never mind, it takes more out of the uh, frame. But anyways, well, you can see it in the back. This is what we're going to be going over. So let's do it. All right. So obviously we got to start with the main course, the main course being the suit itself. And as the title says, it, uh. I got a little tear on there, but um, that's easy fix. Or I could just leave it for bad damage. Anyways, uh, as the title says, this is a white sheep leather costume. Um, I'll have to put the uh, the specific type, but this is one that they made new um, on their website. It's actually all in black. I got it in red, obviously, for Robin, and I was kind of debating whether or not I wanted to solidify it as a Robin cosplay or kind of interchange and, you know, make it more versatile and, you know, do like uh, Captain Marvel or Shazam is that, uh, Captain Marvel is actually his name because he says Shazam, Shazam is the name of the, the wizard. Um, a lot of people assume that it's Shazam. It's not Shazam, his name is Captain Marvel. Um, uh, you know, um, Ant-Man, classic Ant-Man, even um, Falcon gets some like white kind of armor onto this thing and, you know, use straps and magnets versus gluing. And then I kind of just thought, like, you know, Robin is is my main cosplay. That's the one I've been wanting to do. And um, so I just I just glued the pieces on. So these pieces right here, I actually bought off of Etsy. Man, I'm going to have to find the, uh, the name for it. Um, I don't know. The shop actually might still be open, um, but I'll put the link in the description. Um, so these I actually used for my very first Robin cosplay and they're a little, you know, a little messed up. Um, I'm, you know, I don't really care too much, but, uh, as you can see, give y'all a little bit of a, a detailed look right there. Yeah. Yeah, it is 3D printed. That first one, you can see, I tried to do a little bit of sanding and then I just kind of painted over. I didn't do any of that, uh, primer and I, I hand painted this. So it's, it is a little sloppy, but I mean, you know, it is what it is. Um, and then this right here, the emblem, I actually had another emblem that I bought from my friend who I believe actually got the emblem from uh, Duffy Designs or Do You Even Cosplay on Instagram. Also will be linked in uh, the description below. I got a couple of other things from him, so I'll be going over that more. Uh, but yeah, so I found this one actually, I thought, because it was smaller, the, the first emblem I had before this. And I thought, you know what, I need a bigger one that kind of stands out, right? That shows he's Robin, because my very first Robin cosplay, I went to a con and... <laughs> It still kind of bugs me to this day. The guy called me Red Boy. Man, you know. And he was in a movie, uh, a movie Deadpool cosplay. So, um, yeah, so this is the white sheep leather cosplay. I'm going all over the place. But you can kind of see the texture. And man, oh man, get my ugly old fingers out of there. Look at that texture. And it's a nice design. Let me back it up for y'all. Yeah. Yeah, nice design, nice little pattern. Really cool. And this fit, at, um, when I first tried it on, it was a little tight, and I give like my measurements. I did custom measurements for this one. Um, I like to do it for actually all my suits, which I think adds like an extra 30 bucks for white sheep leather. Um, but I think it's not too bad, because I actually have a 30% off code, um, and I'm hoping that if I can buy enough of their stuff, I then can get my own code to give to you guys. Anyway, so help me out with that. No, I'm just kidding. All right, anyway, so uh, yeah, this is it. Um, just again, another little look. Yeah, give him some scan in action, some scan out action. Yeah, all right, that's that. Okay, so um, we got this mask here. Oh man, sorry, I'm wearing a hat because my head's all nappy. All right, there we go. 
Uh, so we got this beautiful mask. So this is actually 3D printed. I also bought this off my friend as well. Um, he was gonna use it for a uh, Nightwing or a Red Hood, I believe. Um, and so I think he went on to another project and then he sold this to me. So I bought this and this is, yeah, this is 3D painted, printed. I painted uh, a little bit more coats of black on there. It was black and I painted a little bit more black to get it thicker and, and nice. And I think that looks nice and solid. I think that's focused up there. Right there. So um, that is that right there. Um, I think, actually I don't know where this is, so sorry. Um, I don't know where you guys can find this mask specifically, but uh, where I got that emblem, I got it off of Olympian, Olympian Props on Etsy. Um, and there's a kit or a pack with a uh, 3D pack um, with the emblem, a batarang or a bird ding, I think. I don't know what it's called for Robin. Um, the little arm guards from the Gotham Knights Robin and the mask. So. That um, might be my new mask and I'm gonna still kinda figuring that out. I did 3D print that thing myself. I do have a 3D printer, so there's some things that you might see. I 3D printed some, I just bought. All right, on to the, uh, the next thing. Let's see, right here, uh, we'll just go kinda simple. These are uh, some tactical gloves I got off of Amazon and they work real nicely. I love these things and they actually help. Those are the little fingertips you see right there. I can scroll up on my phone. If I have my phone out, I can scroll on my phone. So that's nice, unlike those gloves where you're trying to scroll and you're like yeah, accidentally like you hit the wrong thing and you start calling like your uncle or something and you're like, oh, hey, uh, Theo, I didn't, you know, I didn't, you know. So, <laughs> you guys probably haven't experienced that, but anyways. Um, these, I just got some, some basic ninja boots also off of Amazon as well. Um, I mean, they're the ones where you like, you put these little clasps in, yeah, so. It's uh, nothing too fancy, very thin soles. So if you guys are gonna be wearing these or have these, yeah, you guys know these aren't the most comfortable thing to be wearing around. Um, so if you guys are gonna be wearing them, I would definitely suggest putting a bunch of padding in there and you know try and get that good footing. So, uh, but I mean, they look nice, they look great. And on to the cape. The cape, I'm actually really proud of this cape. Um, this cape was like a Party City cape. I didn't buy it at Party City, but I bought it off of Amazon. And so this is how it was uh, shown to be used is with this R on the outside. And I'm like, I'm not doing that. Like, I know Robin's cape is yellow on the inside, black on the outside. So this is a nice, I'd be like a nice silky black. You can kind of see that. That's some nice material. And I think this was like cheap. This was at, at most 40 bucks. Um, so I got this right here. Um, and don't worry, I'll be putting all of this on. But anyways, yeah, so this right here is a neck seal by FX Her or Hernandez FX. Um, this is the Tech Bat Cow. Um, if you guys follow Cosplay Chris, he actually wears this. You're probably like, whoa, what's going on with the stain? Um, I did the Sharpie, as you can see this part right here. I think it's kind of cool. This part is a little messed up. I know, I'll be trying to redo that. If anything, I'll try and find some way to get rid of it. Um, I did get a little, yeah, that's a little mess up. Um, but I love it, right? And you're like, whoa, how'd you get the next seal without the, without the Batman cowl? I got the whole Batman cowl right here. Um, so, uh, because I have this, I was actually debating on selling this thing. So, I may or may not sell this. I do want to get some, like, some of that fabric to get the eyes whitened out. Um, so, I've not really worn this, but I was going to, I was planning on doing, like, a, like a tech, tactical Batman, kind of like Cosplay Chris's um, fit. If you go check him out, I'll probably put a link in the description so you guys can get a more better look if you don't like the way I'm showing mine off. Um, but I think it's really nice and I'll be putting this on too. Uh, you know what, I'll put it on right now, hold on. Yeah, got that beard action spilling out. So uh, it's actually nice. I mean, I got a shave for this thing, but it's cool. The way it did come out, I had to cut out the eyes just a bit more because it was kind of making me squint and it still is and it's pressing up. I think maybe some padding to like push it out more for the eyes so that I can also get that white fabric in the eyes and white them out would be perfect, but I think it looks real dope, man. This is cool. And we got some black Batman, you know what I mean? You can even see my eyes, look at my eyes. I look crazy. Ooh, I'm Batman. All right, so 
I don't know if y'all saw my head, y'all see. All right. Um, so yeah, really cool. I love this thing. Great. I actually have something else from him as well that I'm about to show off. Um, so this is really dope. So, all right, on to the next thing. Um, I did say I was going to do Hernandez X stuff. So I'll do that right here. So these are some, um, some little shin covers, some boot covers, and these are nice. And as you see, I sharpied them out. They actually came all black. I think the Sharpie looks a little sloppy, but I think it kind of makes the detail look, you know, cool from afar, right? And these go over the, uh, the ninja shoes. There's probably an actual technical name for those shoes, but I call them ninja shoes because you usually see ninjas wear them. But that's some, that's some good stuff right there. Don't pay attention to the sloppy Sharpie. Yeah, and covers the ankle. I think that's really cool. Um, I kind of uh, want to find some way to get like a, an actual over the foot cover, like the instep. Um, I think that would be really cool. So this is what I do. All right, that's what I use for my, my shoes. And I, but I found these bad boys. And y'all might think I, I messed them up with the Sharpie, but I wanted to uh, give it a little bit more definition and match the other uh, accessories that I had to the suit. So that's some cool. see a mess up here or there but I just I love these these I think are I think these these are real nice and these are um, definitely pricey I will admit I did the payment plan on Etsy so uh, if you're not trying to drop I think it was like almost 400 bucks 300 bucks 350 um, right there and then if he still has it on the Etsy shop I suggest doing the, the payment plan because this right here perfect just amazing and they fit you know they look real good and you can actually take these off there's little screws on the inside i don't know if you can see that yeah screws some screws on the inside and uh you can unscrew them and it'll be i mean the holes will be there it's not too visible nothing too crazy but you know obviously i'm using it for batman and batman is known for these and so is i don't know if robin is but you know so i think these look great the belt right you did a nice utility belt this one's a little scuffed up, and I think it kind of adds character to it, right? And this right here, this belt is from Duffy Designs, the website. Great work. Great. Like, this is this is perfect. You know, this is like, um, now you can't actually open the pouches or unscrew these little tubes. Can't do any of that, but um, it's still good. It's, it looks just amazing. Um... Alright guys, so this is the final product. Uh, well, not really, because usually I would do uh, black under, uh, black paint around my eyes. Um, mascara, do they call it? Yeah, I don't know, whatever, you know what I mean. Eyeshadow, there you go, eyeshadow. Um, so I'm gonna, you know, that'll be the final. But I'm really loving this. I love it so much. Uh, kind of gives me a bit of a panza. Stomach in Spanish. Um, I mean, I still gotta, I gotta lay off the junk food, but uh, you know. I love this. This is, it's just, I think it works out perfectly. I'm still kind of debating whether or not to get the black tights, you know what I mean? But I think the look as of now is perfect. And of course, this is, you know, more of the Tim Drake Robin, which I personally believe is uh, one of, if not the best Robin uh, out there. I mean, he's the one that, you know, looked for Batman and found him. So, again, you know, there's a little 360. Not really much because it covers most, but. I, I mean, I love it. You know, the toes, it's nice and, you know, you can, you know, you can throw, throw all that stuff in there. Um, you can throw a, you know, nice sidekick and no rip. So, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, I really love this and how it's, you know, put together. Um, and, you know, I plan on probably doing a little bit of adjustments here and there, doing some upgrading, of course, but I, as of now, I absolutely love this thing. And I'm gonna go ahead and put up a picture of my first attempt at Robin. You can 
tell the difference. Definitely much better gauntlets. I think I use the same gloves, um, I think. Uh, same shoes, no boot covers though. Same belt, different mask, um, same clasps, different emblem. But all together, I love this thing. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, we'll move on to the next segment now. I kind of want to end this off um, by getting a little more serious. Um, last week, right? We got the we got the news that um, yeah, we got the news that Kevin Conroy. The voice of Batman, the Batman, at least for me. Um, I'm getting all teary eyed now. Um, passed. And uh, man, was that like a very just jaw dropping, heart crushing thing to hear and see and find out. Um, man, I. I I loved Kevin Conroy. You know, I loved the Batman series, the animated series. I loved the Justice League and Justice League Unlimited, um, the uh, Arkham games. Um, you know, you had the the that newer animated Justice League show. You know, he was he was the Batman. He was the Batman. And um, hell, I think he even made an appearance on those. Uh, you know, the CW crossover. Where he played like an older Bruce Bruce Wayne, um, just sad, you know. And uh, you know, it is sad to to hear all of these great people pass. Like Chadwick Boseman, I saw Black Panther, and man, it's it's just very um, it's sad. And for me, I think it it kind of touches me a little bit more because. Um, the way these people passed. I believe Kevin Conroy passed from cancer. I don't know uh, what kind specifically. I know that Chadwick Boseman as well did from cancer. Um, and I myself have had some family members who've died from cancer. And it's, um, it's sad, it sucks. Cause like, it's natural causes, but it's also not, you know what I mean? like. To me, natural causes is, you know, growing old and just kind of withering away. Um, but having something like this that is, you know, an unnatural, natural cause, and it's, yeah, it just sucks. And um, luckily, uh, my wife actually got me a... Uh, a cameo video from Kevin Conroy a few years back uh, wishing me a Merry Christmas and um, so I'm gonna play it in a bit um, but yeah I just kind of wanted to do a little tribute to him and uh, Kevin Conroy you will you will be missed you were Batman and <sighs> so I guess this video is almost in honor of him right Okay, so um, yeah, if you guys, uh, nah, I'm not gonna do that now, but go ahead and uh, do your thing if you did or didn't like this video and uh, enjoy this little uh, video of Kevin Conroy wishing me a Merry Christmas. Emika, this is Batman. Merry Christmas, Emika. Haley told me that you're a big fan of the shows. Thank you. How lucky you are to have someone like her in your life. So this is a shout out just for you, Emika. I am vengeance. I am the knight. I am Batman. And Emika, Batman's got your back. Remember, it's not who you are underneath. It's what you do that defines you. Merry Christmas.